Hi, I'm Maria Bularis. I'm doing a PhD in Theoretical Quantum Information Science at the University of Oxford, and I've also been working part-time making content with IBM Quantum. Welcome to A Day in My Life. I'm going to bring you along with me on Tuesday 23rd of January 2024. I started the day by getting a coffee for my walk through the very pretty streets of Oxford to get to the physics department. A lot of the beautiful buildings here are colleges, which are like little campuses that make up the university, and you'll see three of them later in this video. But first, I went to the Clarendon Laboratory, which is one of the physics buildings. My office is right at the top. I work in the Frontiers of Quantum Physics Group, which is led by Vladko Vedral, with senior researchers Chiara Marletto and Tristan Faro. This is the main office where the PhD students work. Here we have an old poster from the Centre for Quantum Computation, which brought together quantum researchers in Oxford in the early days of quantum computing. Can you spot who was photoshopped in? I started my day's work by checking the latest quantum-themed academic papers. When someone writes a paper presenting their research, they usually upload it to a public website called The Archive before sending it to a journal to be published. Checking the new archive papers every day is a good way to keep up to date with latest developments in quantum research. Today there were lots of papers about correcting errors in noisy quantum computers, some about a resource called magic which gives quantum computers an advantage over classical ones, and some related to quantum thermodynamics, which is one of the themes of my PhD research, as you'll see in a moment. Next I had some emails to send, to invite speakers for a quantum conference, which happened a few months later in Bristol. At the conference there were lots of talks and posters on current research, and it was a great chance to meet people from around the world working on quantum technologies. Then I did some work on a paper I was writing, which is now on the archive that I mentioned earlier. Today I was mainly editing the introduction and discussion sections, trying to explain my results clearly and how they connect with other work in the field. The paper is about the usefulness of quantum superpositions of states that have different energies. Think of Schrodinger's cat being excited and sleepy at the same time, instead of alive and dead. I've been researching whether the superposition of energies is more useful than a random mixture of energies, which would be like the cat being randomly excited or sleepy instead of both at the same time. Then I went out for lunch with the other PhD students in my group. Today we had to battle the wind and rain and some untied shoelaces. Normally we go to Balliol College, which is nearby and has nice food. We chatted about physics, life updates, random stuff and making plans to hang out. I left early today because there was a talk I wanted to go to happening at the computer science department, which has a weekly quantum lunch seminar. Today's speaker time is a PhD student at the Oxford Computer Science Quantum Group, and his talk was about his research in causality and quantum computing. This involved drawing lots of diagrams that represent quantum computational processes, and simplifying them in different ways to explain which parts can cause changes in other parts of the process, and how this relates to causation in the theory of relativity. After the talk, I went back to my office, checked my emails, and filled in some online forms for a paper that I recently sent to a journal for peer review by other scientists. Then I carried on editing my paper draft on the usefulness of energy superpositions. Every now and then I had a break chatting to my colleagues. At one point we ended up watching the do the raw scene from the movie Shrek Forever After in 35 different languages. Then I checked my social media feeds on Twitter or X and LinkedIn and posted about a webinar that I was giving about quantum computing in a week's time. My colleague Lucia brought us a pack of chocolate shortbread biscuits so I had a little snack break and then I spent the rest of the afternoon working on a blog post for IBM Quantum, where I've been doing a part-time internship alongside my PhD. My main project has been creating the Quantum Paradoxes video series, where I've made 14 videos explaining counterintuitive quantum thought experiments by implementing simulations on quantum computers. Each video comes with a blog post and a code tutorial. Today I worked on a blog post for a thought experiment about testing between the Copenhagen and many worlds theories of quantum mechanics, which was also the first proposal for a quantum computer. The experiment involves reversing the collapse caused by a quantum measurement. I'll drop a link to the video and blog in the description. On Tuesday evenings I go to a Zumba class, which is a fun dance workout. I wore my Kiss Kit sports top which the IBM team sent me when my internship started a few years ago. After saying bye to my office mates, I went on a short walk down the road to Wadham College, which is where the Zumba classes happen. 
the workout finished with I'm Just Ken from the recent Barbie movie playing during our cool down. Then I went to my own college, which is called Maudlin. It is very beautiful and has really big grounds and there are deer in the deer park and it has a tower. It looks very atmospheric and haunting at night. I went to the college hall for dinner where I met with my sister Eleanor, who is a research fellow in contemporary literature also here in Oxford. We had dinner together in the hall and then it was time to head home for the night. Thanks for coming along with me for a random Tuesday in my life. I hope the video was as entertaining for you as it was for my colleagues, who enjoyed laughing at my attempts to do an influencer style outfit change. Bye for now! Bye. <laughs>